question 7 now out of these four factors we have to find which is not important for parturition now here release of prolactin prolactin is released after parturition for the release of milk to nourish the young one while these factors increase in estrogen and progesterone ratio this is correct because progesterone has to be brought down to remove the block so that uterine contraction can begin so at the time of parturition certainly estrogen secretion from the placenta increases in comparison to that of progesterone so this ratio will be in favor of estrogen synthesis of prostaglandins prostaglandins are derived lipids which again cause contractions of smooth muscles of the uterus and release of oxytocin from the maternal pituitary is responsible for again uterine contractions so these three do occur during parturition but not release of prolactin so the answer is one now let us move on to question number 8. Now question 8, a chemical signal having both endocrine and neural role. Now let us see here cortisol, melatonin, calcitonin, these are hormones and they do not have any neural role. But if we see epinephrine, epinephrine or adrenaline, this one is a hormone secreted from the adrenal medulla as well as it is also part of our sympathetic nervous system so the best choice is fourth that is epinephrine hence the answer is fourth let's move on to question number 9 now question number 9 here we have to match the disease with the correct vaccine now tuberculosis now in case of tuberculosis it's the attenuated vaccine where the bacteria have been made harmless so this will be with harmless bacteria whooping cough or pertussis here the bacteria has been killed so it's a killed bacterial vaccine so it is here diphtheria the bacterial toxin is inactivated so it's a toxoid vaccine here and polio is attenuated viral vaccine so this is here so the best choice would be this one fourth where tuberculosis with the fourth choice harmless bacteria whooping cough with killed bacteria diphtheria the inactivated toxin and polio with harmless virus so our answer is fourth so let's move on to question number 10 